by the end of this video, you should be able to know how to register under KRA eTeams as somebody providing an online service. Assuming that you're a freelance writer, graphic designer, digital marketer, or you're providing any service. And the company that you're providing a service to is requesting you for an eTeams invoice. You should be able to know how to generate one. So let's begin registering for eTeams. The first step that you're going to take is that you're going to go to Google and then go to the eTeams website. So you're going to type eTeams login. Yeah, just type eTeams login. So you'll see this page, the first page that's going to pop up under the title eTeams Taxpayer Portal. Click that portal. Then you're going to come across a window that looks like this. Okay. So in this page, remember, you don't have an account yet. So you want to sign up and not log in. So you're going to sign up if you're doing this for the first time. In this case, this video is about doing it for the first time. So click sign up. Then once you do that, you're going to have this window. In this window, you're going to type in your carry pin. Look for your carry pin. It's probably in your email probably somewhere in your email because every year they usually send you a message like if you file your tax returns there's usually um uh, your pin there so just go to your emails then search carry pin or if you know it by heart just type it there once you type it there click verify once you do that the taxpayer's name and the taxpayer type is going to be automatically generated so I'm Ivy. So my name is going to show that Ivy Oyori. And then the taxpayer type. The taxpayer type is whether you are registered for VAT or not. In this case, you are a person and not a company or an entity. So the taxpayer type is going to be um, no VAT. You're not registered for VAT. But there are guys who have actually registered for VAT. So if you've never registered before, it's going to show no VAT. But if you're registered for VAT, it's still fine. It's going to show you're registered for VAT. The mobile number, the email address, and the taxpayer PIN are going to be automatically generated. Remember the first time that you registered for KRE? That, that first time, there was a number that you put there. So that's the number that's going to pop up here. If you've changed your number since then, the first number that you registered with that you haven't changed um, in the eTeams or rather in Carry, it's the one that's going to pop up there. Also, the email address that you registered with for the first time is going to pop up there. Your taxpayer pin is going to be there. So here, what you're going to do is that you are going to type in a password. Type in a simple password or a password that you know you're going to remember. Type it there and then type the same password under password OK. Once you do that, click send OTP. You're going to immediately get a notification on your mobile number, the mobile number that popped up there. So you're going to get a number there. So just type in the number. In this case, it was one, two, three, four, five, six. After you've done that, click the checkbox so that it's in blue. Then click sign up. All right. So once you've done that, you've signed up. You're good to go. Okay, that's just the first step. That's not the full step. So basically what you're doing is that Career was trying to verify your account and see whether you exist. That's number one, whether you exist in the system. And once you've done that, you are trying to set up a password that is going to help you now log in. Remember, you signed up. So now the next step is to go back to this window, which, which you are automatically going to be redirected there. So you'll have this page. In this page, just type in again your carrier pin. And then... For password, type in the password that you used before when we were registering in the first place. Once you've done that this time, don't sign up this time, log in. Okay, click log in. Once you've logged in, you're going to have a window like this pop up or it's not going to pop up. You're just going to have a window like this. So forget about everything in the middle. Forget about the normal sales receipt. Forget about the normal credit notes. Forget about the performa receipt. Look at the top right icons, the ones that are in red, the ones for Teams user guide. That's just a user guide. Now, the one that is on the top right under service request, I want you to focus on that. Focus on the one that has a service request because you want to send a request to register as somebody who is providing a service, as somebody who is providing, you know, online services. So click the one on the top right, farthest right, service request. So once you've done that, another window, you're going to get a small pop-up message um, that's saying service request eTeams, so click eTeams. Yeah, actually that's the one, so click eTeams. You're going to be directed to another page that's going to show you the auto-populated information about like where you registered as your first address. I mean, basically all the the, the essential 
credentials that you filled out when you were registering for KRA. So just don't worry about that. So once you are there, I want you to go to the service information, the one that the service information rather, um, then click eTeams type. Okay. Here you're going to have different options. There's eTeams client, there's one online, there's another one under VSCU, and then there's another one under can't see OC OSCU. So click online. Just click online. Online shows that you are trying to register as somebody who is providing an online service. So click online. Once you've done that, look at those checkbox, the three checkbox. Um, just check them off and then until they're highlighted in blue. So once you've done that, I want you to click send. So here, what you've basically done is that you have requested um, to be registered as a service provider, an online service provider, not somebody who provides goods, somebody who provides services, especially on the online platform or on the online space. And then you are requesting them, rather you're requesting them to register you under eTeams as somebody who's providing a service. It's going to take one day to a week to even up to two weeks for this to be approved. So just be patient. One way to know if it has been approved is that if every time you log in, you just see the two the two red icons like service request. If you see that that icon and the service request, it's not yet been approved. Because if it's approved, it's going to look different. It's going to have um it's going to have more features. Like there's going to be a feature for sales feature, sales invoice feature, you know, transactions feature, credit note feature. It's going to have like so many features. But if you log in every time and then it still looks this way, it has not yet been approved. But if it's approved, it's going to look different like this. So if it's approved, it's going to look like this. If it's not yet been approved, it's still going to look this way. But the most important thing is that you have registered, you have made a request to be registered under ATEMS as somebody who provides a service. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a sales invoice such that if you are providing a service, let's say you are doing painting services for an office of a big corporate company somewhere and then they're requesting you to provide an ETIMS invoice, how should you go about that? So I'm going to show you how to do it, how to register the different categories there. You know what? I'll just show you in the next video how to create a sales invoice. And um, if you enjoyed this video, like it. If you found it informative, like it, subscribe and see you in the next video.